Hello YouTube. Uh, today we'll be talking about the Borgeson Power Steering Unit or part number 999032. Uh, currently on Borgeson's website it's going for $745 which is a really good deal because last year it was $850. Um, I will be telling you a little bit about how I did my conversion and why I did it in the way that I did. The parts that go into the conversion are there's a drag link which is a hundred dollars that's a part that converts it from um, manual to or sorry from power steering to manual um, which you can actually just use by itself to make your car manual uh, and, and then the the Delphi box uh, which is four hundred fifty nine dollars by itself uh, and then the lines uh, which are about sixty six and then you also need a rag joint which is about another hundred and twelve dollars um, when I lived in Maryland, when I was in the military, I was daily driving my Corvette, which is a 78. Um, at that time, I got tired of dealing with power steering leaks, so I ended up just taking out the power steering unit. And nothing, you couldn't really tell any big differences. However, uh, when I got back to Arizona, I had... Um, Put on 18 or I put on 18 inch wheels and the it felt like the car was wandering all over the road and I couldn't figure out what it was anyway turns out it was something called the drag link and in order to turn your power steering Corvette into a manual steering Corvette all that needs to happen is you uh, change out the drag link for um, the Borgeson unit which the part number for that is 99002 and that will give you a manual steering car. After having done that, the steering was greatly improved and it stopped wandering all over the road. Last year when I decided to do my LS swap and I came into a little bit more funds, um, I was worried that the uh, Borgeson unit wouldn't bolt up or wouldn't cooperate with the LS. So after a bunch of research and no definitive answers, I found out that the lines actually bolt up to the power steering unit, which is really good. Um, and so I ended up, after that, I had to buy the power steering box itself. I had to buy the lines and I had to buy a rag joint. I opted to go for a, a metal coupler as I thought there might be less deflection. I don't believe it made much of a difference. Um, and then the big, uh, the big expense, that I sprung for was a Ritec steering box brace, which is about $75, and the part for that is 990019. And I'll show you that in just a little while. Initial impression of the Borgeson kit is it made a world of difference to my car. Uh, I have tried autocrossing with manual steering before, and it is not a pleasant experience. Uh, in fact, it's very difficult, and um, I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. Uh, my experience with this kit was I had a little bit of a leak. Uh, they give you some brass fittings that you're supposed to install, and I did install them, uh, but I'm not sure where the leak is. I might have overfilled it, and it leaked out due to that. I'm not 100% sure, but... As far as driving experience, it is one of the best, well, probably the second best thing I've done to my car. Um, and I would highly recommend it to anyone. In hindsight, or in conclusion, I would say that although the Bergeson unit is very expensive, um, especially for someone that was my age when I first started getting into this hobby, I would highly recommend it. It makes the car actually enjoyable to drive. Uh, it's no longer a workout, and um, I would, I'm very pleased with it. Thank you. Thank you for watching episode three of One Bad C3 Corvette. Still getting used to saying that. Um, I hope you're enjoying the videos, and if you have any comments, please leave them down below. And I'll uh, try to answer, or questions, and I'll try to answer them. And if you have any ideas of products that, to review for Corvettes, uh, please let me know. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.